using laplace transform differentiation of transforms using differentiation of transforms that is what you mean by differentiation of transforms that is if l of f of t is equal to f of s laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s then laplace transform of t raised to n into f of t at the f of t f of s in that transform f of s are t raised to n into f of t has the transformation minus 1 raised to n into d raised to n divided by ds raised to n of f of s as f of t in a transform f of s then t raised to n into f of t in a transform minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f s find this problem find the laplace transform of t square into cos t no. t raised to n into f of t here n is equal to t square into f of t the e problem the you have to the you know that f of t is equal to cancel f of t is equal to cos t then this is t square into f of t then what is l of f of t l of f of t is equal to l of cos t l of cos t is equal to ac divided by s square plus a square l of cos t is equal to ac divided by s square plus a is equal to 1 s square plus 1 that is equal to capital f of s the f of t in a transform f of t is equal to cos t its transform is ac divided by s square plus 1 is equal to capital f of s then by differentiation of transforms l of laplace transform of t square in f of t t raised to n in f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n here minus 1 square into d square divided by d square of f of s that is equal to minus 1 square means 1 or l of t square cos t is equal to l of t square in f of t is equal to cos t l of t square cos t is equal to minus 1 square 1 d square divided by d square of ac divided by s square plus 1 that is the second derivative of ac divided by s square plus 1 like ac divided by s square plus 1 then what is d square divided by d square means d divided by d s of d a divided by d s of this one now the derivative of ac divided by s square plus 1 first derivative of ac divided by s square plus 1 is equal to denominator apply caution rule that means denominator s square plus 1 into derivative of numerator 1 minus numerator s into derivative of s square plus 1 with respect to s s square derivative to s derivative of 1 0 divided by denominator square s square plus 1 or square that is s square plus 1 minus 2 s square uh, s square minus 2 s square cancel it that is that is equal to d divided by ds of s divided by s square plus 1 d divided by ds of s divided by s square plus 1 is equal to 1 minus s square divided by s square plus 1 or square like 1 plus s square minus 2 s square 1 minus s square divided by s square plus 1 or square then what is second derivative second derivative of s divided by s square plus 1 means and d divided by ds of we, we do first derivative that is d square divided by ds square of s divided by s square plus 1 is equal to and e divided by ds of and e by ds of s divided by s square plus 1 what is d square y by dx square d square y by dx square is equal to d divided by dx of d y by dx other way der derivative d y by dx then again differentiate it with respect to x that is d divided by dx of similarly here d divided by ds of first derivative of s divided by s square plus 1 that is d divided by derivative of first what is first derivative of s divided by s square plus 1 1 minus s square 1 minus s square divided by s square plus 1 plus square then to find this value apply quotient rule that is denominator that is denominator s square plus 1 all square into derivative of numerator 1 derivative 0 minus s square derivative minus 2s for s square plus 1 all square into minus 2s minus numerator 1 minus s square into derivative of denominator the s square plus 1 all square what is the derivative of x square first one 2x that is here the s square plus 1 all square derivative is equal to first 2 into s square plus 1 like s square derivative 2s more than that s square plus 1 all square derivative is equal to 2 into s square plus 1 into the derivative of s square plus 1 
derivative of u square is equal to u. Then u is a derivative. And then we have square plus 1 derivative into 2s. Once so again, a square plus 1 non square derivative is equal to 2 into a square plus 1. And again, a square plus 1 derivative into 2s. That is 2 into a square plus 1 into 2s divided by denominator square. Is here a square plus 1 non square raised to 4. Now again, a square plus 1 to the middle of a square plus 1. Put a square plus 1. 2s is the derivative of 2s. Minus 2s. Then take minus 2s into the minus 2s into the square plus 1 outside. Minus 2s into the square plus 1 outside at the minus 2s into the square plus 1 outside at the new table. What will there be now? S square plus 1. Then minus 2s into the square plus 1 into the square plus 1. What about this one? The 2s outside at the square plus 1 outside at the minus. What will there be now? Plus 2 into 1 minus s square divided by s square plus 1 all the way to 4. Plus 2 into 1 minus s square divided by s square plus 1 all the way to 4. That is equal to. So s square plus 1 denominator s square plus 1 raised to 4 cancel. But we have the minus 2s into 1, 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, plus s square minus 2s square. Plus s square minus 2s square means uh, minus s square. There are 3 minus s square divided by s square plus 1, or s square plus 1 cancel raised to 3. Then you minus 1 then multiply. Multiply the Laplace transform of t square cos t is equal to 2s in minus 1 multiplied by the other s square minus 3 divided by s square plus 1 all raised to 3. 2s in s square minus 3 divided by s square plus 1 all raised to 3. That is Laplace transform of t square in f of t. t raised to n in f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f of s. Here we t square into f of t is equal to minus 1 square into second derivative of f of s. f of s means Laplace transform of f of t. Here at the end of cos t is equal to s divided by s square plus 1. Okay? Then I will be able to s divided by s square plus 1 and differentiate here. We will do no differentiate here. I will do that. Now this is very important. Now this is the same here. Same here is not very important. Laplace transform of t square into cos t. Similarly you can come t square into sin t also. Then the same way, same way, not equal. Consider this problem. Find the Laplace transform of t e raised to minus t psi t. Okay? t e raised to minus t psi t. Then again, e raised to at into f of t, first shifting the error. If L of f of t is equal to capital F of s, then Laplace transform of e raised to a t into f of t is equal to f of s minus a. Here, e raised to minus t will be sin t, e raised to a t into f of t. Then, e raised to a t into sin t, all of the other one, and the other we have to apply, or we shall apply, we apply, first is shifting here. And again, one more thing, the t into f of t. If L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t into f of t is equal to transform derivative of transformations. t into f of t is equal to no, minus 1 raised to n into d divided by ds of f of s. Then e problem is e raised to minus t m, t m all of the world, in the e raised to a t and all of formula 1 and there you want to apply, we apply first shifting here. t raised to 1 or t square, t cube, etc. t raised to n, our formula 1 and the you know, transformation, the derivatives, differentiation of transformations. Therefore, in the you know, end, first shifting there apply here, and then the end, you know, differentiation of property apply here. And then the end, let the f of t is equal to select the f of t equal to take f of t is equal to sign t. If f of t is equal to sign t, then the L of f of t, L of sign t, L of sign t is equal to a divided by s square plus s square. That is, here a is equal to 1, 1 divided by s square plus 1, equal to f of s. That is, L of f of t is equal to f of s. Then what is hence by differentiation of transforms? What is L of t into f of t? L of t raised to 1 and 1. t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into the derivative of f s. Here L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 into d divided by ds of f s. What is t into f of t means? That is Laplace transform of t into sin t. Either end of t sin t. 
is equal to minus 1 raised to 1. That is minus derivative of 1 divided by square plus 1. Minus derivative of fs. fs is equal to 1 divided by square plus 1. That is minus denominator into derivative of numerator 0. Minus numerator into derivative of s square plus 1 into 2s. 1 derivative 0 divided by denominator square. Then minus into minus. This step becomes 0. Minus into minus is equal to 2s divided by s square plus 1 whole square. Okay? That is Laplace transform of t sin t is equal to 2s divided by s square plus 1 whole square. Then we get that we have to minus t. We have to do that by first shifting theorem. If L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of e raised to t into f of t is equal to f of s minus a. f of t transform f of s are e raised to t into f of t. That is f of s now this will not be s minus a. That is first shifting theorem. Now we can do it. Hence, let f of t is equal to t sin t. Are f of t is equal to sin t in the middle. And then the derivative, first shifting gear applied under the unit, a t into sin t, that f of t is equal to t sin t. Now f of t is equal to t sin t. Then what is L of f of t? L of t sin t. L of t sin t is equal to the unit, 2 s divided by s plus 1 naught square. And then hence, by, by, first shifting gear, first shifting gear applied under, L of e raised to a t into f of t. L of e raised to a t into f of t is equal to f of s minus a. Here a is equal to minus 1. The f of s minus, minus 1 that is f of s plus 1. Or L of e raised to minus t into f of t. f of t means t sin t is equal to, you know, f of s. Another s is equal to f of s plus 1 on the order. The s is equal to f of s plus 1 on the order. 2 in here. S plus 1 divided by S in over S plus 1 all square plus 1 square. So again, there is Laplace transform of e raised to minus t into sin t or the, the e raised to minus t into sin t is equal to f of t t sin t n. If let of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t sin t is equal to f of s. This one. L of e raised to minus t into f of t is equal to f of s plus 1. Let me see this result. Uh, put the s plus 1 in the place of s. That is 2 into s plus 1 divided by here s plus 1 all square plus 1 square. Now that we can get the amount of me. This is the equation. First shifting graph is L of L at f of t is equal to sin t. Then what is 1 divided by s square plus 1 f of s. The first shifting graph is applied. Then L of e raised to minus t into sin t. E raised to minus t into sin t means uh, f of a t into f of t is equal to f of s plus 1. Right? This is f of s. Now, s will be the load s plus 1 on the load. Then, 1 divided by s plus 1 or square plus 1 on the load. f of t sin t. Therefore, l of e raised to a t into f of t. This is the s will be the load s plus 1. Then, 1 divided by s plus 1 or square plus 1. This is the s. Therefore, this is f of t i t into f of t. The transform. But f of t is equal to e raised to minus t into sin t to look up. But l of f of t is equal to the value 1 divided by s plus 1 or square plus 1. Then, differentiation of transforms in the property applied that Laplace transform of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 into derivative. That is minus of derivative of f of s. But minus of derivative of f of t 1 divided by s plus 1 or square plus 1. That is either the negative. This is the first differentiation of transforms. Then, first shifting gear applied. So, this is the first shifting gear applied. This is the first shifting gear applied. Then, this is the derivative. Now, we have the first shifting gear applied. Then, we have the derivative. T sin t. Then, we have the first shifting gear. What is the first shifting gear? That is the first shifting gear. This is the first shifting gear. First shifting gear. T into f of t on derivative. Now, we have this f of t. T into f of t is the derivative. Now, derivative is the differentiation of transforms. Then, e raised to a t into the line is the first shift. Then, we have to say that. 
The last section of this unit, last section of this unit means we have already seen the differentiation of transforms. Differentiation of transforms means if L of f of t Laplace transform of f of t is equal to capital F of s, then L of t raised to n into f of t is equal to what is L of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f s. What is L of t into f of t? L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 into derivative of f s. Here, next, we consider the integration of transforms. The integration of transforms means that like if Laplace transform of a function f of t, let f of t be a function, whether this Laplace transform of this function f of t is equal to f of s. f of t is a transform f of s. That differentiation is that t into f of t, t square into f of t, etc. But the integration there remains. Then Laplace transform of f of t by t. In the case of differentiation, we find uh, L of t into f of t is equal to minus derivative of f s. Here L of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f of u d u. f of s means Laplace transform of f of t. I the s will not be u to f of u d u. You see, this function f of t by t is not defined where t is equal to 0. Like t is equal to f of t by t and that is not defined. But one property is limit t tends to 0 f of t by t. Then limit t tends to 0 f of t by t. Limit t tends to 0 and limit t you know, exists. If the limit f of t by t as t tends to 0 exists, then L of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f of u d. Okay? And then, f of s, f of t is a transform f of s. Then f of t by t is a transform in the integral sum integral s to infinity f of u d. What is differentiation of transforms? Uh, if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f s. Or L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t into f of t or t square into f of t, t cube into x of t, right. then L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n, 1 now, minus 1 raised to 1, that is minus d divided by ds of f s. In the case of integration of transforms, if L of f of t is equal to f of s or f of t with the transformation f of s, then uh, f of t by t. But the t you want to multiply, but then you can divide L of t, f of t by t, Laplace transform of f of t by t is equal to integral s to t infinity f of u d. Okay? Well, this function is not defined at c is 0. Let t 0 of the divide by 0 infinity undefined. Value. But in that case, limit t tells 0 f of t by t exists here. T tells 0 of the function of the limit on that. Can it t is equal to 0 the one defined? But there should exist the limit at that point t is equal to 0. Okay, in the proof of when that, then we are going to the number here. f of t is a transform f of s. Then f of t by t is a transform integral s to infinity f of u d u. In f of t transform f of s. Then t into f of t is a transform minus derivative of f s. Then in the value one more. t raised to n into f of t is a transform minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f s. Anybody? f of t transform f of s. Then f of t by t with the transformation, transformation integral s to infinity f of u d. Yes, so I integrate it. And that transforms in the integral value. Yes, okay? Let's have a Find the Laplace transform of 1 minus u raised to t by t. 1 minus u raised to t by t. Neither f of t numerator or not take a numerator is equal to f of t. Then this is in the form f of t by t i. 
and the matrix let a fourth key is equal to 1 minus t dt then the given problem is in the form l of f of t by t l of f of t by t is equal to minus where integral is infinity is in the transform f of u du let f of t is equal to 1 minus t dt then what is l of f of t l of f of t is l of the plus transform of 1 minus t dt that is l of f of t is equal to L of f of t is equal to uh, L of 1 L of 1 minus L of u raised to t What is Laplace sign for 1? 1 is equal to 1 by s Then minus Laplace sign for u raised to t 1 divided by s minus a Here a is equal to 1 that is 1 divided by s minus 1 u raised to t 1 divided by s minus 1 is equal to f of s Either f of t with the transformation f of s Hence by integration of transforms and the integration of transforms and all of them in the in IT in the integration of transforms, IT to the key. And then L of F of T by T is equal to F of T transform F of S then F of T by T as the transformation in the rest of the T F of U T. Okay, that is Laplace transform of F of T by T 1 minus E raised to T by T. The 1 minus E raised to T by T is equal to integral S to infinity F of U D f of s is 1 by s, s will not be u, 1 by u, minus 1 divided by u minus 1 dv. Separated integrity. Then you take this integral s to infinity 1 by u dv, first thing. Minus integral s to infinity 1 divided by u minus 1 dv. Okay. That is what is integral of 1 by u? 1 by x integral log x. That is log u between the limits is the log u between the limits as to infinity minus log u minus 1 between the limits as to infinity. Alright. 1 divided by u minus 1 integral. The 1 by s and the formula. Sorry, 1 by t. 1 by t integral log log u minus 1 between the limits. Then apply, apply the limits. That is equal to apply limit apply the log infinity. Alright u at the minus do the s over the log s minus log infinity minus log s minus 1 at the upper limit log infinity minus log s minus log infinity minus log s minus 1 log infinity is equal to 0 then that is equal to log infinity is equal to 0 then minus of minus log s minus 1 minus log s minus log s because log infinity is equal to 0 reason Either the way that, that is log of you know, 1 minus e raised to t by t, f of t by t is equal to log of log a minus log b b. Log a minus log b is equal log a by b. Log of s minus 1 divided by s. Okay? And then log of 1 minus e raised to t by t. Then the number of differentiation of transforms are the product rule of the formula. This the quotient of the formula. Right? T denominator is equal to Le, differentiation of transforms t into f of t, t square into f of t, t cube into f of t is the formula. Here it is, f of t by t. The derivative of a quotient is the formula. The last transform of a quotient is the formula of the result. That is the integration of transforms. What do you mean by integration of transforms? If l of f of t is equal to f of s, then l of f of t by t is, has the transformation integral s to infinity f of u d. What is differentiation of transforms? If L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into nth derivative of f s. What is integration of transform? If L of f of t is equal to f of s, L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f of u. It is important. We in section 10 is last line. This is the same way, save it in the note.